Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie with Cole Morgan, and this is Two Minutes of Motion. In our segment on frameless motors and feedback, we saw that non-standard orientation between the two devices can occur. Once the motor and the feedback are rotating in the proper direction, the commutation alignment must take place for the motor to operate correctly. At this point, it is assumed that the motor and feedback are in proper alignment, meaning that clockwise for the feedback is also clockwise for the motor. Built into the feedback screen is the option to do a commutation alignment for sign encoder or resolver, as well as wake and shake for encoder feedback. Expand feedback one to show the tab for wake and shake. In our example, the motor has a sign encoder feedback, so the proper mode will be commutation alignment. Select one commutation alignment from the mode tab. Then click arm. When enabled, the drive will pull the motor, meaning that it will place a DC voltage across windings U and V. The motor will snap into position. Since the sign decoder is an absolute device, the drive will calculate the motor position after polling and will set the motor phase. In many standard motors, motor phase is zero as the feedback is aligned to zero physically. Once motor phase is set, the motor will operate correctly. Workbench makes setting up a frameless motor very easy. The tools can simplify many of the tasks that once took 10 to 15 minutes to set up and now takes less than one minute. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. Join me in our next segment.